I recently had the opportunity to talk to a group of Indian school children about transport in Japan using PowerPoint and Skype. Here are some of the highlights of that interaction. Hello everyone, this is a presentation on transport in Japan from the rickshaw to the Shinkansen. Good morning, sir. Good morning. It's nice to see you all. Thank you, sir. Same to you. Same here. Children will ask a few questions on transport. Yes, you ask me your questions and I'll try to help. Shall we start, sir, then? Yes. Thank you, sir. Namaste, sir. Hello. Which is the fastest train in your country? The bullet train is the fastest train. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. In addition to the question and answer session which we had on Skype, I gave the students a presentation on PowerPoint. I started off with the Shinkansen because I thought that might be something that they'd be particularly interested in and certainly they asked a lot of questions about it. I particularly tried to explain the history going back to the Tokyo Olympics of 1964 and how the bullet train was symbolic in a sense of Japan's progress technologically after World War II. Hello. Sir, what is the speed of the fastest train in your country? Fastest train? Speed. The speed? The fastest active train is 200 miles an hour. Thank you, sir. There are experimental trains. They are preparing, which are much faster. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. I gave a few details of that kind of information on the PowerPoint presentation about the speed and the track width and things like that. And also, since it's a very famous feature of the trains, the punctuality and the crowding and the quietness on the trains. Namaste. Sir. Namaste. Okay, yes, a good question. Now, they are using many, many hybrid cars that have some electricity and some petrol. So, hybrid cars are very popular in Japan. They control pollution. You are welcome. I also gave a bit of information about the history of transport in Japan. It's quite remarkable, really, that only a hundred years before the bullet train came into service, the wheel was not permitted to most people. So they would be carried around, if they had enough money, they would be carried around in a litter, like this one. And then, of course, came the rickshaw, which comes from the Japanese Jin Rikisha, and which survives today as a tourist attraction. Namaste, sir. Yes, namaste. Oh, yes, yes, yes. There's a huge underground network of trains. Very, very big underground network all around Tokyo. And in other big cities, they have underground trains. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. And there were questions about the roads and the cars and the aeroplanes and all sorts of things. So many things that I, I can't include them all in this short video. Before I finish, though, I'd like to say something about the bicycles in Japan, because although everything else is very efficient and well organized, bicycles are a kind of chaos. But maybe that's a good thing. Everybody else drives safely, so as to avoid the chaotic bicycles. Thank you for taking your time out. I speak to you later. All right. Okay. Bye bye for now. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye.
Well, there were one or two problems there. The sound quality wasn't perfect, and uh, at the end there I even lost the video, so I couldn't actually show you their faces as they say goodbye. But I think you can see that we had a lot of fun.